what I can tell you is the Corps has changed their practices after decades. And I want to try to tell you about how this came about so hopefully you can understand in a meaningful way. Uh, and based upon what we know today, the Corps, very simply, is taking the river back to what it was years ago. They are reversing the management practices, the processes that were implemented for decades. We have filed suit this morning in the Federal Claims Court in Washington, D.C. Our firm and the Cohen Milstein firm in Washington, D.C., who is our co-counsel, seeking to recover uh, for the losses that have been suffered by these farmers uh, dating back to the flooding that started in 2006. It has become a matter of uh, real interest in the region, but it's also a problem. And it threatens the vitality of the economy in the Midwest. Uh, and it certainly impacts the economy and uh, the lives of people and citizens in this particular region and area. Actually, it's a way of life for people of these communities. Uh, they, it, it's, it's, it's changed the way they live. They, it, it's changed their whole attitude toward the river. And uh, some, something has to something has to give and uh, we hope this lawsuit will cause uh, cause that change I think we're filing to to recapture the loss that has been sustained and in the process hope that some education comes about for everyone to understand that the words flood control are nowhere found in the Bible today and you cannot find them in the Bible because they have been eliminated. They not only eliminated flood control as a top priority, they eliminated the words. What you will find is flood reduction of flood risk. It's no longer flood control. It's we're going to try to manage the river to reduce uh, flood risk, meaning we're going to have, it's admitted, they're intentionally flooding. They have to do that to take the river back. They have to do that to, for the biological opinions. What I'm saying to a certain extent, those biological opinions are counter with a host of federal legislation, including the Federal Flood Control Act. And what I'm saying, as respectfully as I can, Congress doesn't understand this, guys. They don't understand it. And hopefully, this educational process will help them understand it so that they, if they're inclined, can address it. We're bringing this discussion to a focal point so hopefully something can be done. We need a long-term solution. This is unacceptable for the status quo.